And there are reports out in the press that the President separately appealed to you, Admiral Rogers, and to you, Director Coates, to downplay the Russia investigation. And now we've got additional reports, and we want to give you a chance to confirm or deny these, that the President separately addressed you, Director Coates, and asked you to, in effect, intervene with Director Comey, again, to downplay the FBI investigation. Admiral Rogers, you draw the short straw. I'm going to start with you. Before we get to the substance of whether this call or request was made, you've had a very distinguished career, close to 40 years. In your experience, would it be in any way typical for a president to ask questions or bring up an ongoing FBI investigation particularly if that investigation concerns associates and individuals that might be associated with the president's campaign or his activities? Would so today I am not going to talk about theoretical's. I am not going to discuss the specifics of any interaction or conversations I may or can may you, not. Can if, you if I could sorry, finish, yes, sir, please. That I may or may not have had with the president of the United States, but I will make the following comment. In the three plus years that I have been the director of the National Security Agency, to the best of my recollection, I have never been directed to do anything I believe to be illegal, immoral, unethical, or inappropriate. And to the best of my recollection, during that same period of service, I do not recall ever feeling pressured to do so. But have, in, in your course prior to the incident that we're going to discuss, was it in any regular course where a president would ask you to comment or intervene in any ongoing F FBI investigation? Not talking about this circumstance, but yes, sir, any prior I'm, experience? I'm not going to talk about theoreticals today. Well, let me ask you specifically, did the President, the reports that are out there, ask you in any way, shape or form, to back off or downplay the Russian investigation? I'm not going to discuss the specifics of conversations with the President of the United States, but I stand by the comment I just made to you, sir. Is, do you feel that, that those conversations were classified? We know that this, there was an ongoing FBI investigation. Yes, sir. There are press reports. Yes, sir. Um, I understand your answer. I'm, I'm disappointed with that answer, but I may <coughs> indicate, and I, I told you I was going to bring this up, sure. there is, we have facts that there were other individuals that were aware of the call that was made to you, aware of the substance of that call, and that there was a memo prepared because of concerns about that call. Will you comment at all? I about stand the by existence? the comments that I have made to you today, sir. So you will not confirm or deny the existence of a memo? I stand by the comments I have made to you today, sir. I think it will be essential, Mr. Chairman, that we, that other individual who's served our country as well with great distinction, who's no longer a member of the administration, uh, has a chance to relay his, his version of those facts. Again, I understand yes, sir. your position, but I hope you'll also understand the enormous need for the American public to know. You've got the administration saying there's no there there. We have these reports, and yet we can't get confirmation. I want to go to you, Director Coates. Um, when you appeared before 